Peaceful greetings, everyone, and thank you all for joining me. My name is Dolores, and this is my channel, Deluxe Lifestyle and Wellness. If you've been with me before, I'd like to welcome you back. And if you are new, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Tonight, I am going to do a product review of uh, Dupe House of Fragrances. They're called the Essence Vault. And this is my first time ever uh, buying uh, duplicate fragrances, and I love fragrance. That is a part of my uh, business. That is what I've been doing probably about 20 years now. Um, I uh, am a specialist in aromatherapies using essential oils, and I also sell uh, fragrance oils and perfume oils. So a uh, big part of my business and my company is fragrance. Uh, the name of my business is DC Fragrance and Wellness, um, which actually started out as a DC Fragrance Center, um, which was a uh, personalized scented bath and body care product company. So I've been doing this for a very long time. Um, perfumes and lotions and body oils and fragrances and colognes and things like that are very, very big part of my life and who I am. I have to smell good. I love to smell good. I like for my environment to smell good. I always have like candles burning and incense all around me and flowers and so ooh, it just makes me feel so good. I love having a clean, fragrant, peaceful environment that helps me calm down. So, I am going to do a review of these fragrances from The Essence Vault. Um, the Essence Vault is a company out of the UK, I think Ireland. I think they're from Ireland. And again, this is my first time ever trying uh, a dupe house. Most of the time I just buy, you know, designer fragrances or I use perfume oils or whatever. Um, but they come in very clean boxes. Hope y'all can see that. I, I know it's a little backwards. Please pardon me. Um, and I had to write the names of the perfume dupes on the actual bottle because they are numbered and the numbers are on the top. So this particular one is a dupe for uh, Tom Ford's White Suede, which I really like. And the White Suede, let me show you the bottle. This is a full 3.5 ounce bottle. It's a nice size. 3.5. I love that. Nice size bottle. And uh, you can see it's pretty full. I really haven't <laughs> haven't used very much. Uh, but I did sample it because I like white suede. And uh, the white suede has notes of, I, I wrote this down, I have a little cheat sheet. Hold on, y'all. Um, white suede has notes, top notes of tea and thyme. Middle notes of rose, lily of the valley. I love white flowers. Um, and saffron. The dry down is suede, amber, and a little bit of sandalwood. And you can smell that. It smells so fresh and so very clean. This is a great fragrance for uh, the warmer weather, I think, probably because it's a white scent. I really like that. Um, and the number of this one is 960. And 960 is a dupe for Tom Ford's uh, white suede. Now, I do have to point out that I um, bought three of these. Three. <laughs> okay, three of these full-size 3.5 ounce bottles for, I think it was like $85, which is, um, actually, y'all know it's a really good steal for uh, perfumes now because you can buy uh, one a bottle of perfume this size and it'll cost you a, a good designer perfume probably three hundred dollars so um once i found out i could pick up three for eighty five dollars i was like yeah okay <laughs> why not um and i love that they are um not exact dupes but um they have similar notes 
and I had a couple that I did a blind buy of and this was one of my blind buys I actually have this on today and this is a dupe not exactly a dupe but uh, similar to um, Gucci Flora Gardenia um, and I had this on I put this on today when I got out of my shower it's not a favorite of mine but it's fair um, it, not a favorite but it's fair I think I, I wasn't crazy about it when I first put it on but as it began to settle and dry down I like it more um, and sometimes if I am doing a blind buy and I have fragrances that I don't really love um, but I can tolerate if I can't tolerate it I'm gonna give it away or gift it to someone who, who might actually like it or you know something like that because if I can't stand it, it'll give me a headache. I can't use it. But um, for something that I don't particularly want to wear on my skin, but I can tolerate it or I kind of like it, I use it for linen spray. And I have a lot of uh, comforter sets and beautiful knit blankets and you know things like that that I keep stored in a closet and I have them all in plastic or have them in bins and I will take the fragrances that I don't always wear but I will spray down my bed linens because when I go to sleep I need a soft sweet peaceful atmosphere that may sound crazy but I'm one of these people who sprays down my bed when I get out of the shower I want to get into a nice crispy fresh smelling bed and it helps me rest better I always have candles going on I always have some incense going on I spray down my bed sheets because I want to be you know in a zone <laughs> that's just me but I'm always in a very good smelling peaceful environment and uh, I don't know whether you all know but your olfactory senses are um, very closely tied to your memory so if you remember something that is sweet and smells delicious and it's a good memory for you the next time you smell that you're gonna remember a sweet good smelling peaceful environment or whatever that memory was okay so y'all remember that your uh, olfactory senses your smell is very closely tied to your memory um let me read the notes in this one this is number 700 i love that these are numbered um and i i like to say they're like angel numbers because i chose a couple of them because I loved the number so um, maybe not such a good idea if you know which uh, scents work for you and uh, the notes and fragrances that you like please read the notes before you do a blind buy um, again I bought it because I liked the notes that were um, descriptive for the perfume and it's not bad again this particular one is not a favorite um, but I'll, I'll wear it I have it on right now and it, it, it's not bad so let me read to you what the uh, notes are in 700 which is supposed to be a dupe for uh, flora gardenia okay the notes are pear blossom <clears throat> excuse me red berries <clears throat> pardon me the middle notes are gardenia and jasmine, which you can you can kind of pick up the gardenia and jasmine. Um, and it dries down to like a soft, sweet patchouli. It's a little musky at the end, uh, which is not bad. Uh, I actually like it as it settles more than when you first put it on. Okay, so I kind of like that one. Um, it won't be an everyday for me, but... Uh, I'll, I'll wear it. I'll wear it. And from the set that I have from the three, which I thought was a steal, three for 85 bucks, really good. Um, the last one I got was uh, number 413. And again, I love these full size bottles. That's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, and number 413 is um, very close to Joe Malone's um, Lime and Mango. I believe it's Lime and Mango. Excuse me, hold on, let me get the box. It is 
Thai lime and mango. It is a very tropical um, kind of sweet fruity smell and I love this. This is going to be perfect for the beach, um, Sunday brunch in the summertime. Um, it'll be a nice fragrance if you're headed out to just do something playful like a fair or a carnival or something like that but a very nice fruity scent and it really does smell like I, I pick up a lot of the mango I get a lot of the mango um, the lime kind of uh, kind of follows in later but I really do get a lot of the mango and it really it's good this is some good juice right here I'll say that this one smells very good good it smells good on me um, again you'll have to read the notes to see whether it works for you um, everything doesn't smell the same on everybody we all have different body chemistries so it, what works for me might not work for you right but it smells good and I do like that one I do like that and that's 413 um, if you like some people are not crazy about Joe Malone fragrances. Uh, I think Joe Malone uses a lot of very uh, natural scents, natural essences from flowers and fruit. Um, so you're not going to get a bunch of hard perfume uh, with her scents. But uh, I do like that one. I do like that one. And I picked up one that I love. And this is a smaller one. This is a one ounce spray and this is actually an intense it's not like the white box it's a black one um, and this is an intense the number of course is 111 which I was like oh okay I have to have this not to mention it is one of my favorites it's a dupe for one of my favorites which is Tom Ford's uh, Neroli Portofino and the one ounce bottle, that's the size of a one ounce bottle, still a pretty good amount of juice. Um, I think the regular is, if y'all can see that, yeah, pretty cool. The regular um, 111 is around $34, but this is the Intense, which is a little stronger and it'll hold a little longer. Uh, so this one was about $39. Still not bad. Not bad at all. Um, and this is a, oh, a scent that I absolutely love. It is unisex. It could be worn by man or woman. Um, and the notes in this one are uh, Citrus Neroli and it has a little hint of amber and it dries down to kind of a musky uh, vetiver scent. So it wears very well, it wears very well. Um, I will say that they last for a little while. They'll, they'll last for, I, I'll, I'm gonna say for about five hours. I don't know that the sillage is very broad or that it permeates a lot. Um, but a couple of times when I've worn this, people have complimented me on it. So I know this one for sure um, is very good wear. Now, because I am in the fragrance oil business myself, what I will do is I have uh, fragrance oils. This is just a regular rose oil. This is one of my rose oils. And I will, when I get out of the bath or get out of the shower I'm putting on my lotion or my body oil I'll put on some fragrance oil and then I'll go over it with a perfume um, this is a rose perfume this is always in rose it's a rose hibiscus perfume but once I put on the oil then I'll go over it with my perfume and that will make my fragrance last twice as long um, your fragrance will last if it's on moist skin. It's not just for the ladies, but fellas, y'all too. When y'all get out of the shower and you put on your uh, lotion, cocoa butter, whatever it is, put on a little bit of uh, cologne over top of that, and it just smells so good and it'll last a lot longer on moisturized skin. If you have a 
fragrance oil or some body oil that is uh, comparable to what you're wearing that'll last even better so I suggest that you will try that um, so that's my review of the essence vault the only thing I didn't really like about them their shipping is prompt I think I got my stuff within like two or three days from them shipping it from the United Kingdom so that was great the only thing that I had a problem with was how it was coming it came by DHL and they couldn't find my house so I actually got it like two days later than what it was intended to come but that was the only problem that I had other than that everything went very well and um, I will give them for this being my first time trying a dupe house I will give them uh, I'll say seven and a half to an eight I haven't tried any others, but I will. I'll try some other ones, and I'll come back and give you guys a review. Um, and if you, you like my jewelry, y'all like my jewelry? These are natural agate slices from uh, Brazil. And I actually have a ring there, beautiful agate slice ring. I have all kinds, um, and I actually sell these in my uh, shop. There's another um, really pretty one, a pretty ring there. I like that. Uh, I have plenty. These are really pretty. I like that one too. It's one of my favorites. But uh, all kinds of rings. I have the uh, natural stone earrings. Uh, these are things that I carry because some people are like, oh, we want something different. We want something to uh, kind of stand out. Beautiful necklace, beautiful agate slice pendant. All of the pendants come with a sterling silver chain or a leather cord, kind of like this one. Um, I haven't posted a sale yet, but I think I'm going to. Uh, I might even go live on Instagram, so um, I will keep you all posted about that. Um, but if you are interested before I do that, then definitely hit me up. Just send me a message and say, hey, Dolores, I want uh, one of those beautiful rings. I will send you uh, some photos of ones that you can choose from. And uh, the best part about this is not one of these pieces is over $40. So you're going to get something very good, very sturdy, natural, and reasonable. So if you're interested in one of those, let me know. Um. Uh, and until then, I wish you all well. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful afternoon, a wonderful night, wherever you are, whatever time this finds you. <laughs> okay, I wish you love, peace, and prosperity. Thank you all so much for joining, and I will see you all next time. Uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a reading. I don't know when I'm going to post it, but I think I'm going to do a Talk to the Angels reading. Since we're talking about angel numbers, I think the angels are uh, having a lot to say. Or uh, maybe you want to ask your guardian angels something uh, to find out if they can give you a message that is pertinent personally to your situation. So stay tuned. I, I think I'm going to do that within the next couple of days or so. How about that? We'll do a talk to the angels reading. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Bye-bye.